this is architectural resignation. The cover um, is a photograph of a World War II bunker. And in fact, what this is, is a, um, a, a bunker that sits at the very top ridge of the Aspromonte in the middle of Calabria. And from this point of view, you literally can see both the Adriatic coast and the Mediterranean coast. And this spine of mountains runs right down the middle of Calabria. So obviously this was a great lookout and you could see any invading army or any intruders that would come up uh, in the valleys below. But uh, when I shot this photograph, it was obviously 50 years after its abandonment. And again, here is a typical of the kind of artifact that people are resigned to having in their land. So I'm going to go through a few photographs and talk about the stories that are behind them. So this photograph here is the frontispiece, and I chose it for a very important reason. This is a photograph that was shot in Brindisi. Now, Brindisi is at the very eastern edge of Puglia, and uh, that is on the Adriatic coast. And what we're looking at here essentially is the end of the ancient Roman Empire on the Italian peninsula. These were the great columns that were the end of the Via Appia, the Appian Way. And after this, the steps go down into the sea. So this was literally one of the greatest demarcations of the ancient classical world. And these columns, what's left of these columns, sit in a little tiny public square. And as you can see, they have been subject to great violations over the years as graffiti strewn all over them. Originally, there was graffiti on the actual columns, but since then, the local government has built several layers of protective walls around it, and still it becomes a, um, a kind of a stage for perhaps the, um, the dissatisfactions of, of people locally toward these amazing artifacts. Um, one of my great friends uh, in, uh, in Italy uh, told me something very interesting. He, he said to me once, he said, I hate these damn old stones. Now, you would think an Italian just naturally would, would uh, be absolutely proud of the great histories. After all, they've the Italians have run the world at least twice in, in history, maybe more times. So you would think there would be incredible pride, and I think there is, in the ancient monuments. But today, I think there are many Italians who feel that Italy is essentially an ancient artifact rather than a, a living contemporary culture. Um, a great deal of money and resources is spent to maintain its past and there's fewer and fewer resources to initiate the future. And I think young artists and, and professionals feel that in some ways they are very limited in, their, uh, in the scope of their ambition because so many of the public resources are utilized to maintain the past. And uh, while this might be, represent the glory of ancient Rome, um, you know, this is a town, this is a small town that does not have huge industry. Um, has probably a, a large uh, population of, of young, unemployed, dissatisfied people. And so, of course, this is as much a, res, uh, a reflection of just current life as it is a historic monument. So I felt this was very emblematic of the entire series. Uh, there is this mixture of history and contemporary life that comes together in this particular image. Um, it's also about language. Um, obviously, there is an architectural language, both ancient and modern, and then there is actual textual language. And the way these two combine, I think, creates a, a kind of image that I'm looking for throughout the book. Now, here's another World War II lookout tower. And here you can see it combined with a, a villa that's a very contemporary, expensive home. And this is in the northern coast of Sicily uh, near Messina. And again, this overlooked the coast around Sicily. And it sits 
you know, literally within 50 yards of or 100 yards of this house and obviously will continue to coexist with uh, with each other for probably until this crumbles into dust. This is a fascinating piece. This is a, um, a bridge. And um, I remember coming on this. And it's in Catanzaro in Calabria. And what you can see here is this is an incredible structure. The town of Catanzaro is actually um, sort of in an independent hill. And there's a valley that runs all around it. And so it required this enormous bridge to sort of connect the uh, plateau of one area to the town, which sits on this hill. So this was an incredible construction project, a great, great bridge. But meanwhile, underneath are these ancient farms. And I remember driving around this town and seeing this, this sort of montage of a farm, these buildings having been built over probably 100 years, each one in its own time. Um, and yet here it is in the shadow, literally, of this contemporary monument, this mammoth construction. And so again, the coexistence between the ancient and the modern is, is, is very clear and uh, very evident in this picture.